hates to be. Okay, bye. Ladies, gents, and nons, he won. I'm so happy for him. Um, he got sixth place, actually. He won! I have this writing style I like to call uncertain. It's where the narrator isn't really sure what they're talking about either. That is so powerful, and I want to write a short story in this style now. Thank you. The park had been there for as long as I lived there. I think. I couldn't be sure. I was never one to go to the park anyway. Nobody has any clue what's going on. Ah! Self-aware, unreliable narrator. Love it. Warning, too many feelings today. Please pick your top five emotions. Any more and we get confused. Me nearly every single day. The Egyptian Mao is probably the oldest breed of cat. In fact, the breed is so ancient that its name is the Egyptian word for cat. Did they name it Mao because that's the sound a cat makes? Okay, now I'm just imagining a very early Egyptian encountering a wild cat for the first time. What the fuck are you? Meow. Oh, okay then. Didn't realize Egyptians were Pokemon professors. A concept. Teen horse girl movie where the horse dies an hour in, and the second half is the girl learning occult science to reanimate it so she can win the big derby. Coming to theaters, Necroprancer. You can't beat this dead horse. The word Doritos, with the diminutive suffix Edo, implies the existence of a larger chip. I intend to find this mythicer chip, this Doro. Ah, a noble quest. It's a shame, though, for it has been found. I'm just saying, if you add two pounds of sugar to literally one ton of concrete, it will ruin the concrete and make it unable to set properly, which is good to know if you want to resist something being built. French anarchists used this to resist prison construction in the 80s. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, reblog this for purely educational purposes. <laughs> My friend read an article about octopus intelligence. It was feeding time, and the handler dumped some shrimp into an octopus's tank. Then he went into another room and sat at his desk. A while later, a shrimp was tossed onto his desk. The octopus, upon finding one bad shrimp in the lot, had grabbed it, escaped its tank, crossed the hall, and threw the expired shrimp at its caretaker. Not only does this showcase their problem-solving capabilities, but also that it could have escaped at any time, it just broke out this time to chuck an off shrimp in indignation at its handler. That's not just intelligence, that's a human-like reaction. Kinda makes you wonder exactly how smart these guys can be. Oh. My God. Got one of the smartest octopuses in the world and turned out to be a Sharon. Okay, I went to the aquarium once and we had a tour. And we walked past the octopus tank and it was duct taped shut. So I asked why and the guy was like, well, we had a problem before because these fish were disappearing randomly at night. We had no idea why. Turns out the octopus had memorized the night guard's rounds and would creep out of its tank, crawl across the floor to the fish tank, have a little snack, and be back in its own tank with the lid shut before the guard came back. They are super smart. I love octopi so, so much. I am both delighted and fucking terrified. One more story. Once I went to the aquarium where they had a baby Pacific red octopus in a tank. I had gone there to work on a few real life sketches. Obviously, I wanted to do one in an octopus. So I kind of just kneeled in front of the tank and started sketching. The octopus didn't mind, he just sat happily. Then five minutes later, he started moving in front of the tank where I was. This tiny octopus faces me directly and starts posing. I don't know how other to explain it, but he started curling his tentacles in this really graceful way, then wouldn't move for a few minutes. Then again, a new pose. That tiny cute motherfucker knew I was drawing him. God damn it. Why are octopi such big brain? I love him now. You say chunk of ice, I say vegan pizza. So I heard the TV in the background of a drawing and a movie came on, and it started with Walt Disney saying something like, I'm Walt Disney. And I immediately said, you're watching the Disney Channel. I've got some kind of allergic reaction going on, and my face is just breaking out in a bad rash. And my mom's freaking out and wants to take me to the ER. And my dad was like, hey, let's not make any rash decisions. And we high-fived, and now my mom is yelling at us. Good dad. Probably should take you to the hospital, though. I eat a lot of bread because it's soft and I deserve it. Also, I'm gorgeous. Hmm. 
By my calculations, I diagnosed you with pigeon. What if all your Tumblr followers actually followed you in real life as a hallucinations of something? You know, nothing out of the ordinary. I don't know who this is about, you or me, but it concerns me either way. Like I said, nothing out of the ordinary. Your DNA contains millions of years worth of software updates. Nah, man. Your DNA contains millions of years of totally random bugs, some of which don't really change anything, and some of which are really bad and annoying, and some of which miraculously make the software work better. So, I'm a Bethesda game. When you become famous, you're called a legend because your leg ends. What? Your leg. It ends. I'm not a linguist, but I think that's wrong. Are you saying your leg doesn't end? I mean... At some point, it does, yes. Then what's the problem? You know what this reminds me of? <clears throat> the you gotta be dunking my donuts. You gotta be hurting my pizza. You gotta be macking my Donald's, man. You're really in in my outs here, buddy. You're five in my guys. You're white in my castle. You're dairy in my queen. You're steak in my shake. Yo, but are you? Are you belling my taco? Literally any true crime doc will just straight up tell you that almost every unsolved case in history is due to police incompetence or outright intentional negligence. Yep, 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 yep. Jane and Ryan on true crime. Yep, yep, <laughs> Rooney, you got the Rooney's. To prove that ants counted their steps, scientists took a few out of line and attached tiny stilts to their legs. Since they took bigger steps, the ants totally walked right by the food and got confused when they walked the correct number of steps, but there was no food. Here's a picture. Conclusion? Scientists are creative and weird. Just straight up science. I can't tell what my favorite part is, but it's either scientists wasting budget and time to see if ants count their steps, the idea to put ants on stilts, there had to be a guy who made ant stilts and put them on the ants, or confused ants. Okay, who wants to hear my new conspiracy theory about lawyers? One, can't legally lie, but trade in half-truths and misleading language. Two, obsessed with contracts. Three, required to follow the letter, but not the spirit of the law. Four, really good at exploiting loopholes. And five, range from semi-helpful to openly malevolent. Conclusion? Fairies. <laughs> well, I mean... The places where we do our main business are often called courts, so it's not like we're trying that hard to hide it. I knew it. The lawyers are the freaking fae! Me puts a lot of thought into a post, hoping it'll get attention. People. Hmm. Me makes a random post about Tumblr follower hallucinations things that got spooky. People. Yes! This is the one that will get on the YouTubes! Well, the only surefire way to get you back on YouTube is to get PMC more into sender sides. You know, he actually hinted that he liked the show, I think. Your wish is my command. I'm gonna screenshot this now. <laughs> Wait a second, I'm PMC Moore. This is my YouTube. Wait, they want to know if I like Sanders or not. Shh, shh, shh. Uh, uh, well, okay. I guess I have to say it. <clears throat> Thomas Sanders is a precious freaking bean and I will protect him with my life! Why is it cancelled in the UK, but cancelled in America? Because we gave you that L in 1776. And because we gave you that L in 1776. Oh, I actually know the answer to this one. American newspaper ads charged by the letter. So a lot of people would eliminate unnecessary letters like the second L in canceled or the U in color. Some of these spelling changes were used so often that they stuck and now Americans just spell some words differently. In summary, Americans spell things weird because capitalism. Shit, I didn't want that to be the right answer. Does anyone feel like school subjects have their own specific color? Math is blue, right? No, math is red! Math is in fact red! Math is blue, y'all! English is red! Oh, fucking excuse you. English is green. Okay, Pat, can you rate your OCs on how warm your hugs are? Finally, a rating system up my alley. Alright, black a lot, biscuit, here we go! Nerva, a six. Four arms are nice for hugging, but he's cold-blooded. Would be more ideal on a hot summer day. Kevin, my boy, my man. Nine, he's a big man. Hugs are high-risk gamble, for he may crush your ribcage, but in a nice way. The slimes, yeah, straight up five. Sticky or filmy hugs, but all lovely fruit scents. Owie, an eight. Hugs with tail. It's absolutely precious. Azuri, a six. Same with Kevin, but also cold. 
GA9 Maximum Floof Hug. Would absolutely recommend. The babies. 10 small beads that make happy noises when being hugged. And finally, Sienna. Do it. Like hugging a marshmallow that provides hair stroking and reassurance that everything will be okay. Highly recommended on Yelp. Honestly surprised no one has tried to make the ocean tiny. Um, Pucky, it's a lake. You think you're so fucking smart, but a snail sat an ocean. What about a puddle? <laughs> Don't make me bring ants into this. The perfect employee doesn't exist. My local hardware store has a dog that follows you around and takes your items to the counter for you. <gasps> employee of the month every month. More like employee of the universe. Don't feel bad if you're sensitive to negative feedback, because apparently after one particular bad review, Hans Christian Andersen was found just sobbing while laying face down in the dirt. <laughs> you left out the best part though. He was crying face down in the dirt of Charles Dickinson's yard. Where he had been staying for weeks, long overstaying his welcome, and was annoying the fuck out of Dickens. Why is that beautiful? My gay brother walks into the room without a shirt on. Hey, topless. Him. Well, you don't have to rub it in that I'm single. Uh, um... Oh god, it took me a minute. I don't get it. I get it. Guys, this is my favorite picture on the internet. There is no reason to keep up with the internet. I have found the best of the best. Oh my god, Angel Doge. Dude, my hand smells like sulfur. Holy shit, it's like poison death. It's like what mammoths died in. I'm so fucking strong. Yeah, but have you seen the PS5 stream? I could rid your body of all moisture and nutrients with one wave of my stench hand. I want to sit in a lap and I want to hold a hand. Do they have to be attached? I love your need to make everything cute sound creepy. I love that. Well, it's funny how you can make everything sound creepy and wrong, but the things that you like make this creepy. Skittles are very good. Well, it depends where you put them. Dude, you challenged a god and failed. One thing boomers don't appreciate is how much easier it is to learn new vocab words when reading digital materials. If I'm reading for fun and it come across a new word, I'm probably not going to look it up if I don't have a digital device nearby. When reading ebooks, it's as easy as right clicking. What are you talking about? Boomers don't appreciate anything. This, my own post, came flying back to break my neck like a boomerang. Today I learned that because of a mistranslation, Jimmy Carter told the Polish people in 1977 that he desired them kindly and that he had left the United States to never return. I mean, has anyone seen Jimmy Carter recently? I think he's there. Oh, uh, kitten goes, Mark! Cats can have a little salami. As a punishment. How many vampires do you think have been hit by a car backing up in a parking lot because the driver couldn't see their reflection? You know, I've never considered it, but you're really shining light on what's possibly a very serious issue. Okay, I'm just saying. I would really hope they'd notice a car coming towards them, or else they are truly the worst apex predator ever. This is also an extremely fucking valid point. Fuck it up, buttercup. Go for the kittle daffle deal. Fight my power, sunflower. Riot, bitch! Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. I'm gonna let you on a secret. I'm lit as fuck right now, man. Shit, look at my hand. Behold. Foot. Ah. The beans are growing nicely this year. What if you woke up one day and you were hot? I don't know, I'd probably open the window or something. Oh my god, I can't breathe. I don't know, you should probably open up a window or something. Someone. You know, Coca-Cola can remove rust from metal. Imagine what it's doing to your body. Me. Pfft, getting rid of the rust, idiot. That's not how it works! That sounds like somebody who needs the rust removed from their body. Okay, Pete. May I request a drawing of a circle? Okay, here you go. Um... OP, that's a sphere. They said to draw a circle, so that's the Earth. I woke up at 5 a.m. and like a normal human being, started making bread. Who the heck have I become? A medieval peasant? What does this say? I be illiterate. Oh, you look so tired, little man. He looks like warm buttered toast. Oh, crap, he does. But my toast has some hair on it, so hard pass. Let it rest. Historians are dangerous, gossips who tease the dead, certain that the Trojan War really happened, and are detectives. 
All of these make it sound way more exciting than it actually is. I give you an entire brick wall smoothed out by the ocean. Ah, the domesticated rock returns to the wild. That's actually kind of creepy looking. Honestly, I didn't expect Avatar The Last Airbender to have such a perfect score, but you know what? It earned that 100%. But that missing 1% from the audience score is just because someone was mad because the show only has 61 episodes, and that's just tragic. The first ever champion of a pie-eating contest was an unnamed six-year-old boy in 1990... <laughs> 1996. 1916. He managed to scoff a 10-inch pie in 15 seconds. What a legend. Why didn't his parents name him? He ate his name. Excellent reasons to give pets boring human names. One, to see how long it takes co-workers to realize you're talking about a pet and not a significant other. You know, Dave and I were watching a movie in bed the other night. 1B, or about a kid. Maria's not allowed to eat raisins, she's allergic. 2. You can use them as an excuse. Uh, Taylor hates it when I get home late. And 3. Eventually, you get to say things like, Jennifer got stuck between the wall and the refrigerator again. Pretty sure I did this one, but it's got a follow-up, so fuck it. Pronouncing the E at the end of testosterone makes it sound like a pasta. Mmm, testosterone, can get all your transgettes. You are one in a million. And that means there are like 320 of you in the United States. Find yourself. Start an army. Overthrow the government of a small weed western town and run that shit. What's the most grown up and mature way of saying I was unable to make this phone call because I was worried I was going to cry? I was unable to take a call due to a medical issue. The medical issue being chemical imbalances in your brain causing you to be emotionally unstable even though there's nothing wrong with crying. Oh, well, fuck. You know, I might make up some adjectives like Billy Shakespeare did. I feel that would be rather pertrancious of me. Absolutely cortanal post, OP. Hmm, splenatious addition to the already omnipenential post. Sir? Sir, you do not belong there. Uh, he has a permit. Leave him alone. He does, in fact, not have a permit to be in the cat food pantry. I know this because I issue those permits. I have issued no such permit to this particular gentleman. If he might be so called. I promise you, he filed the paperwork with my office. He's just waiting for it in the mail. How did you get authority to give my cats cat crime permits? Oh, uh, this woman issued me that I'm authorized. Ah, my friend. This is a very common scam. This woman is well known to the authorities for cat crimes. Especially fraud. That's what I thought, ma'am, but her lawyer assured me she was legitimate. Mm-hmm, so trustworthy in appearance, yet so duplicitous. You are a victim of a world-class bamboozle. Please consult your insurance policy. You should have some financial coverage, but I'm afraid your reputation may never recover. What a ride that was. Why does every cartoon character wear these underwear? Well, why don't you? Because if I wore those underwear, the universe would conspire to constantly put me in situations where my pants could get pulled down or destroyed, and it's so hard to find good pants. SCP less than three. Item, hard print boxers that, through some deep and subtle magic, causes the universe to conspire to constantly put the wearer in situations where their pants would get pulled down or destroyed. In massive lockdown. Yo, welcome to McDonald's. You want a fuck beast charger? Please, I, I just want to see my wife again. Ah, no, you getting that chicken nugget. Folks, I'm gonna say it. I don't think it rains for long enough periods of time. It rains hard. It sounds good. Uncomfortable inside. But within five minutes, the jig is up. The dream is over. I think it should rain for longer periods of time than it presently does. I don't know how to tell you all this, but a frog made this post. Only a true king could remove the sword from the stone. No one else could. They didn't have authorization. That pun is bad and you should feel bad. No, no. That pun is good and you should feel good that you did it. Proud of you. Okay, this happened to my music when it got stuck when I was trying to copy it. It's terrifying. Extreme Dishonor! I just realized that the lack of acceptance for asexuals is literally the dumbest thing. Like you can't handle the thought of two dudes kissing? Okay, you're dumb and terrible, whatever. But you can't handle the idea of someone not kissing anyone? What are you worried about? You're gonna eat too much mac and cheese? Draw too many dinosaurs? Just tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Also, hand over your mac and cheese, but go, go ahead and just tell me, tell me, tell me. Ancient cat boys, or Neanderthals, if you will. I most certainly will not. Warning, graphic sex, swearing, in French. 
Oh god, not French. Anything but the French! Bonjour. <laughs> hey, guess what? I have... Anxiety! Please don't make me do things. Thinking about Skyrim Demastered Argonian. Look at him. Handsome. You know, his horns say delight, but his eyes say, please help me. You know, once I got very drunk in a bar, my mom had to pick me up, so I was trying to act normal by keeping the conversation, so <laughs> I asked her if she's a virgin, and she looked me with pain in her eyes and said, I wish I was. Some parents will really be like, I'm going to make a joke that directly references my child's insecurities. And worse, I'm going to do it in public to other people, therefore exposing those insecurities to others. And then turn around and be like, Hayden doesn't really talk to me anymore. They're so angry all the time and I don't know why. I'm perfect. This is because of social media. Concept, necromancer that doesn't know they're necromancer and thinks they're just a really good EMT. That is the Funniest thing I've ever heard. I need a story on that. ADHD time processing. Okay, today is Monday, but tomorrow is Tuesday, and I have class. And after that is Wednesday, and I'm having a lunch with my mom. And then on Thursday, I have a night class, which means it's basically already Friday, and this week is already over. Another one. Right now, it's 2.30, which means it's almost 3, which means it's only an hour away from 4, which is basically 6. How have I stayed up all night? Other people don't think like this? Yeah, apparently they perceive time as a linear series of seconds, minutes, and hours, which they can reliably partition off for planned and orderly activities. You know, that sounds fake. No one can do that. It's impossible. No. Mm -mm. No. There's no crime in being a thief. What a thief does is take someone's property without their permission, which is a crime. Not when I do it. I'll steal your heart and you wouldn't mind. That was very smooth. I'm gonna steal both your organs and money. Actually, this is Ted Cruz emulating Napoleon, foreshadowing that, if elected, he will become a vicious, war-hungry imperialist dictator. Napoleon is also pulling out a gun. <gasps> Napoleon is the Zodiac Killer. Cooking spinach be like. This is the meme content I like to see. Okay, let me tell you something. Chefs love memes about how a kitchen works. And this one caused my entire kitchen to riot, and my head chef sent it to all the area chefs in the company. Earthquakes are like the weirdest things. Like we're floating in space and our planet just decides to spontaneously do the chimichanga. So, do you have a crush on someone? Me. Fools some evil don't have time for romance. What kind of question is that? So, I have both a brother and a sister, and recently I came out as genderqueer, and my mom's reaction was basically, Oh yes, I collected the whole set. The only correct reaction. Mwah, love it. I'm sorry, but the Norwegian butter crisis of 2011 just confuses my goddamn brain because how the actual fuck does an entire country run out of butter? Did Norway just come home downstairs like, oh god, I'm gonna fuck this up, who cares? You know, I was gonna explain how the butter crisis happened, but then I noticed your fucking hilarious attempt at writing, we've run out of butter. I'm not sure if you know, but you basically just wrote, we drove out of the lubrication. Kinky. 222 golden retrievers gather in Scotland. Their purpose is unknown and likely sinister. I'm putting my cat on a vegan diet. How could you do that? That's animal abuse. No, 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 it's not. A vegan only diet is actually very healthy for them. Cats are carnivores, they need to eat meat. I know, I know. That's why it's a vegan only diet. I feed them only the finest vegans I could find. You know, I got really angry for a minute and then I died of laughter. Okay. I know people like to cosplay good omens, but driving a burning vintage Bentley is just going a little far. Found a nice guy? Don't friend zone him, end zone him. Throw him on the ground like an effing football! Touchdown! Yeah, <laughs> nice guy finally scores. You're not as funny as you think you are. Listen, fucker, I'm here to amuse myself and make people vaguely uncomfortable. I'm not here to entertain you. Your reactions are here to entertain me. I am dumb as shit, and that will come at great cost to the world. For the record, you are absolutely hilarious, and I both fear and admire your ability to make the most cursed things into a coherent thought. How oh. dare you imply I've never posted anything coherent even once! I'm hungry. Yes, good. This is a satisfactory conclusion to this post. End it. I've never eaten a sushi before. Um, it's eaten. You're smart, you're clever, and everyone here loves you. You know, the reason Ang and Katara are great friends is because they started with a good icebreaker. The opening line to Sokka's best man speech at their wedding. Dudes who order boneless wings close the fridge with their hips. Oh, dudes who order boneless wings close the fridge with their hips. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, what of it? 
My hands are full and my ass is fat. You fucking wish you were me. Whenever an American pronounces herb as herb, it shocks me. Do you say elf as well instead of help? Or like air instead of hair? Or like umer instead of humor? What the fuck? The H is there for a reason. Because the word is French and the H is silent, at least we can pronounce our stolen words properly, bitch. So, uh, <laughs> you want me to make you uncomfortable? Sure. I'll also rate your work on how impressive it is in my opinion. Resurgence of the Onesler fandom. Rating, 7 out of 10. Notes, how dare you make me read those words. Now imagine, members of the Onesler fandom. <laughs> oh god, no!